We're moments away from the opening of the market. Uh, market watcher David Barnston is with us. Uh, quickly, David, give me 20 seconds on why this market is not much more sharply down given the dire economic news we're getting. Stuart, it's a really helpful reminder for viewers that markets are always in forever a discounting mechanism, fancy term. All I mean is markets are pricing in every day what they believe about the future. There is not a person in the country, let alone a market actor, who did not know that the unemployment picture is grim. The market is up 2,000 sure. points between yesterday and last Thursday, the two days that those horrible jobless claims numbers came. They were awful numbers. They're going to stay awful for a little while. But the market has already known yep. that. It just simply is not new news. It's bad news, but it isn't okay. unexpected. All right. I'm going back to David Barnson. David, I know that you look at stocks which have a growing dividend yield. That's your kind of company. That's what you buy. But I'm told that a lot of companies are cutting their dividend right now, either cutting it back or cutting it out entirely. Is there such a thing as a, a big name stock, a big name company that's still paying me four or five percent in dividend and it's reliable, it's safe. Do you, have you got a company like that? We have about 20 companies like that, Stuart. There are a whole host of companies that through multiple recessions, through wars, through the great financial crisis, have maintained their dividend. What's the difference between those cutting right now and those that have the ability to maintain it? It's balance sheet. It's less leverage. It's a less cyclical business. So Walmart, Procter Gamble, Coca-Cola, um, you, you look Walgreens yesterday, their CFO saying that we have had a commitment to our dividend for 70 plus years and don't intend to stop that now. That was yesterday, the CFO of Walgreens saying that. These are high dividend yields at Verizon. I'm giving you more and more names because there's so many that meet that criteria that not only are able to pay a great dividend, but are going to continue to grow it through these very difficult but transitory times.